OK, starting with HSBC Flash PMI, it hit 50.9, suggesting recovery is still on track. But I know in your latest report you think the recovery is already peaked. Why do you say that? Uh, the PMI index did improve, but remember, it's barely above 50. It's actually quite weak by historical standards. And uh, also, it's not very well correlated with actual manufacturing activity in China. So what we are saying is that, yes, the fourth quarter of this year is going to see improved momentum of growth. The first quarter of next year as well. However, we are already in December. The pace of Chinese expansion sequential quarter-on-quarter -quarter GDP growth is peaking either in this quarter or in the first quarter of next year and from then onwards it will gradually decelerate. So the recovery that we are seeing is not as strong as it was during the Lehman crisis. It's much more gradual because Chinese policymakers are not aiming at double-digit GDP growth anymore. They are content expanding between 7 and 8 percent. So, assuming then that we're in a gradual mode of recovery here, what do you think needs to be done to ensure that the growth rate of 7.5% can be achieved? I don't think that China needs to do anything more. Uh, when you look at the data that's incoming right now, momentum is strong enough to allow us to exceed the target in 2012. 7.7% is what uh, we expect the economy to achieve. Next year, uh, mostly bo uh, based on base effects, uh, but the economy will expand by 8.5%. Like I mentioned, the momentum in quarter-on-quarter -quarter terms is peaking at the start of next year or at the end of this year, but on an annual basis, next year will be better, will beat the government's target. So there is no need to stimulate the economy further, no need for fiscal stimulus. In fact, we are already seeing slowdown in the growth rate of government expenditures. No need for monetary stimulus. There will be rate hikes next year. Uh, basically, the government seems satisfied with what the economy is doing, tail risks. Uh, from the housing market, from Europe, from the US, they are subsiding. And therefore, uh, I think that policymakers in China can now refocus from supporting growth to restructuring the economy towards domestic demand. And that's the order, the marching order for next year that I think they are adopting. What about the Yuan? We're seeing a peak, even as the central bank did a bit of intervening. Where do you think it's headed? Well, um, it's a currency that has had a relatively good run over the past few months, but uh, since mi the middle of November, uh, gains have kind of petered away, and uh, we are now seeing signs of stabilization, or perhaps even a small correction. And that's not surprising, because the, the rally in September, October was really strong, and we think that towards the end of the year, a little bit of more, more of correction is likely. It will end at 6.27 against the US dollar. But next year will be a better year. Remimbi will appreciate by 2.5% to 6.10 against the US dollar because China will need a stronger currency to fight inflation, rebalance growth towards consumption, and encourage foreign investors to adopt it uh, as a new international currency, which is easier to achieve when the assets you are adopting is rising in value.